Hi guys, it's Cal from Dirty Weasel, and welcome back to the Mod Organizer series for Skyrim. And today we're going to discuss a couple important tools that are used for modding, and will be greatly useful for you in the future. And one of them is called Load Order Optimization Tool, also known as Loot, and the Elder Scrolls V Edit, aka TS5 Edit. And I'll show you what we got going on, and let's open up our mod organizer you can see we are in the middle of doing our unofficial patches now you can see i've already got a few going there and uh, we'll have to change this but we'll show what we're doing so you can see we've already downloaded this one so the next one we want to do is the hearth fire patch and we're going to click it and it's installed so what you mod organizer has right here in the sort button has a version of loot now when you click this it will run Mod Organizer Loot version, and it will give you a report. Now, that's that's important, and we'll go over that later, but uh, let's close that. And you can see it took the Hearthfire patch and moved it up underneath there. Okay. Well, it's not quite right, is it? So, we'll just have to double-check that, but uh, we'll have Loot figured that out later. Now, up here in the upper right-hand panel, you can see there are potential problems with your setup. Okay. Let's find out what those are. Potential problem, potential mod order problem. You can either hit fix or you can click on it and see what it is. Move hard fires before unofficial Skyrim patch and move Dragonborn after unofficial hearth fire patch. Okay. So we could either do that manually or we can do fix. Let's hit just fix and see what happens. Yes. And you can see it went ahead and moved it. Now we can close that, and the problem is gone. So you can see it actually moved it below the high resolution patch and below that. So I'm still not happy with that, but it seems to be working just fine. I'd rather have it after that. So when we come over here, you can see it didn't quite fix it right. So I'm a little concerned about that, and I want root loot to run it more can say are uh, more confidently so what we're going to do is close that down and what you want to do is download loot and i have pulled it up on the internet already you can see it's loot.github.io and you can see load order optimization for oblivion skyrim fallout 3 in fallout new vegas so this is a versatile tool that allow you to change your load order for all sorts of different mods now when you hit download loot it's going to take you to another page you come on down and you can hit the loot archive if you want to do it manually or you can hit the installer and you can download that now we will minimize that I've already placed it on my desktop and I want to show you something the hard drive where I keep all of my games and whatnot is my e drive so we'll minimize that down and you run the loot installer yes Select the language, English, hit next, and we want to browse. I don't want that there. I want that on my E drive. So let's find computer, E drive, hit OK. There you go. And hit install. It's completed. We can hit next. And we can either run loot or view the readme. We'll do that later. So we'll finish that up. Finish. Now we go back to our mod organizer, and we want to be able to have it in our executables. And there's two ways of doing that. You can either come over to the gear section, and you can go look for it that way. I think that's probably a good way of doing it. And we will go to our E drive, and there's loot. Open loot up, and there's the application right there. And that's the executable. Open. Now we will rename this to loot. And hit add. Now we can close it. Now when we come over here, you can see loot. Now we can either run it through the executable run button, but I also want it up here in the toolbar where I've also placed SKSE. So you would hit 
shortcut toolbar. There you go. Now, when you do this, either through the shortcut or through the run bar, you will get this. Over here, you have your little loot box. And it is TS5 Edit Skyrim Sort Plugins. And now when you do this now, loot will work its job and reorder your masters. And you can see now it's done its work. So you can go ahead and hit Apply. Now you see it's a little different than what it was before. So I'm okay with this. So you can see Hearthfire's unofficial Hearthfire patch. So that's that's a better order. I like that. And we can close that down. Now we will reopen Mod Organizer. Now you can see this way, running loot manually has Hearthfire's unofficial Hearthfire patch right there. So we now have another conflict. So we look at the mod order, move Hearthfire's after unofficial patch, move unofficial Hearthfire patch after Hearthfire's, move Dragonborn after unofficial Hearthfire patch. I'm okay with that fact, that fix. So we can go ahead and fix. Yes. And close. So now you have the unofficial Skyrim patch right on the top. Dawnguard, Dawnguard patch, Hearthfire's, Hearthfire patch. Okay. So we can do the same thing with the unofficial Dragonborn patch. Click that. Hit loot again. The sort plugins. Dragonborn, unofficial Dragonborn patch ESP. So that's perfect. That's what I want to see. Now we will go into details and we will now save this for later and we'll show you why. So you can go ahead and open up Mod Organizer again. And you can see the Dragonborn patch needs to be moved around. Now what you can do is click Highlight a Mod, All Mods, and Refresh. Now it's not giving me the message, but I know that that Dragonborn patch needs to be under Dragonborn. Stuff to keep in mind, guys, is when you see load order on this side, that it kind of needs to match up on this side. Even though it hasn't really caused any problems, I still want to see that. Matter of fact, I want SKSE below unofficial high Skyrim patch. The unofficial high resolution patch. And mod, hit refresh. There you go. Now, why don't you come back down here? And we are going to pull up our report viewer. And you'll see some important information. Loot will tell you where there are some dirty records, some dirty edits, some undeleted references. And you can see they're all in this. Now, this normally in a vanilla game isn't that big of a deal. Even at this point in my installation, just by doing the unofficial patches, it's not going to really affect the game too much, but later on it will. Once we start adding lots and lots of mods to this, it will cause conflicts. So, what we want to do is clean up these files. And Bethesda, you think, would clean these things up, but they never do. So, we can clo and close that down. And we're going to close loot, since we don't really need that anymore. And since the loot installer has already done its job, we'll throw it away. Okay. Now, the next tool we need is TS5 Edit. Now you can see up in the description page it is TS5 Edit. It's a utility and what this tool will do is allow you to clean up those edits. Now I would recommend a series of videos. This one done, these two done by Gopher. This is for primarily for mod authors. This is primarily for mod users and this video is about making a merge patch. Once you get a lot of mods, you'll need to make merge patches. So, if you go to these videos, it'll be very helpful. So, what you want to do is go to Files, and you're looking for the main file, and you download manually. And for me, it's 
It's Dallas. Okay. Now, once again, I've also already put this on my desktop, and it's ready to go. I remember we had our E drive over here. You can see, let's go back and forward. Now, you can see Loot has been installed in my E drive. So, no, that's where it is. I also want my TS5 edit to reside in the same folder, because I like having all my game files right in here. So, I'm going to make a new file new folder and we're going to call it TS5 edit done so what we want to do is open up that file you see it's empty for right now and you're going to come over to your RAR file or your WinZip file and you're going to open it and you see we have our executables and all this in here so I want to take all these files oops Try it again. And I want to take them and put them over here. There you go. Now we can close that and throw that away. So now we have TS5 edit and we have the TS5 executable in that file. Okay. We can close this. We don't really need this anymore. But what we're going to do is come over to our gears tab or you can come over to we did it before with this one let's show you this one and you can come down here and you can edit and you can see it opens up a very similar window so we are going to hit our browse file system and we are going to go to our e drive and you can see ts5 edit open that up and there's our executable so you want to hit open now we want to rename this also. TS5 edit. And there's our executable, TS5 edit. Everything matches up and hit add. And we're done. Okay. Now you can see our Windows here also runs TS5 edit along with loot and SKSE. So you're going to do that. I want to run it on my toolbar also since I use it a fair amount. There it is. Now we can hit run and see what happens. And there you go. Now, now you can refer to those videos on how to do all this stuff. But for right now, just know that it works and you can now start to clean your files. There you go. All right, guys. So uh, I hope that was useful to you. And uh, you'll be able to use that in the future. So we're going to continue on. I'll let you know what our next uh, topic is in our next series for Mod Organizer for Skyrim. My name is Cal. I'm from Dirty Weasel. And I'm signing off. I took an arrow, arrow, arrow.